I'm talking to Chef Alvin of Food Share, who uh, has uh, been instrumental in preparing a unique dish here at the opening night of the Urban Agricultural Summit here at Food Share uh, on Gracious Street. You were serving what kind of food? Well, we're serving a variety of foods this evening. The station you're standing at is called their Aboriginal Food Station. It's indigenous foods. There's the venison meatballs that we serve. You still have the bison pierogies? Yeah, there's, these are the ones left. These are bison pierogies okay, made by Aaron Joseph Bear Robe from Karawak Cafe. Um, oh, thank they're you. bison tongue pierogies, and I think it's with an... I don't want to misrepresent his dish because he wasn't here to um, put it together. Um, I hear they got a pretty good bite. Yeah, yeah, it's beautiful food. He's really an outstanding chef. Oh yeah, he's a great chef. Oh, I mean, I if you can ever eat a Karawak. So these are venison meatballs. <laughs> Okay, so you just tried the uh, bison tongue, was that correct? Hey, Elvis? This is bison tongue pierogi. Pierogi, yeah. And, and how is that? Is that the first I time for you? I haven't tried it yet. Oh, okay. I'm eating the venison meatballs. And, you, and how is that? I love venison. Uh, oh, I haven't had it for years. And how is that particular one from, from this location? I'm going to have to try it. Is that different or what? That is very different. Mm. It's got some sort of chutney on it. Yeah. Yeah, you're saying it's got some chutney on it. Is that uh, correct? I think it's elderberry. I think elderberry. it's elderberry. It's not a chutney. It's so, not a chutney. But it, I think it's elderberry. It might be service berry, he told me, but I can't remember. I'm sorry. It doesn't say here because oh, yeah. he didn't bring me the ingredients before. Uh, we like to have all the ingredients, but he's too busy. I would have loved to taste just, just the pierogi without the sauce. Okay, so we got the meatballs, the pierogi. This is called Three Sisters Chili. Traditionally, there's a very a traditional indigenous Canadian dish called Three Sisters Soup. Okay, and the three sisters are corn, um, <laughs> squash, and beans. So we made it into a chili. We just re we reconfigured the dish so that it, we didn't need to have it be a soup. That's that. And this is something. Hang on, gotta ask our taster here. So how's that? Very nice. Yeah, he's got to say it's good or I'm walking away. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's got to ask for some more. And then and I'm not it's okay. <laughs> This is a recipe we actually got from the Aboriginal Education Center who we work with. They requested that we make this for a dish. It's very traditional. Blueberries. It's uh, it. wild rice, blueberries, and maple syrup. That's it just about it. Oh, this should be really good. Uh, I want to take a lot, but I don't have a fork. Are there forks there? There are forks right there. So. Okay. And so, how come these particular three or four dishes as opposed to, say, some other types? Well, how well, did you decide I mean, you've this always got to make a decision of trying to get a balanced meal. Mm -hmm. So, and we always, and we always um, have to make food that's vegan and vegetarian and culturally appropriate in all sorts of different ways. So, so what are people saying here at the uh, opening night here? I think they're all loving the food. What do you, somebody need comments? Bye, Dan Tom. Good to see you. So how is the, uh, how's the rice there? I can, I can tell already by just the sign language there. Excellent. See you. So you were saying? Um, so I think people are loving the food. You know, this station, we have a school food station where we made little uh, hors d'oeuvre versions of the foods we sell and we serve in schools. Excellent. Okay. And I'm talked out. Beautiful.